Now, you know, of all the people here on the show, Greg is by far the most romantic. There's nothing like a good romance. You know? Greg, oh, yeah. Greg loves love. I do. Mm-hmm. How can you not? Nothing wrong with well, that. Well, it just depends. It well, does you, get to a point where it's a little cheese ball. It can be cheese ball. Yeah. It can be over the top. It can be bumper stickers on your car. Yeah. Now, Greg had started the mention. I said, yo, wait, hold on. I think everybody needs to hear this. I was a little bit uh, surprised to hear for the first time ever. Greg was uh, covering his eyes during a commercial. Yes. For, of all things, eHarmony. I, really? I would think that would be like porn that, for you. I know. Like, you would think. I, yeah. I and didn't I, think they were still around. I issue not. I physically put my hands in front of my <laughs> eyes. It was so disgusting. I guess they have this new ad campaign where there's someone for everyone, you know, like it's yeah. just a, a romance thing. And this one particular eHarmony ad, if anybody's seen it, let me know. There's a dude standing in the bathroom in front of the mirror. He has no shirt on and he's notices something on his back. So he kind of contorts his back. Oh. And it's this massive zit that is so gross looking. Oh. It's comically large. It's disgusting. Menace's dream. And then uh-huh. so he realizes he has the zit, can't reach it himself, walks out into the Ugh. family room where I guess his girlfriend or wife is lying watching TV. And he walks up to her and kind of just sits right in front of her where she has her legs and shows her the zit. And she Ugh. reaches up and you know starts why? to squeeze it. Yeah, cause chicks love doing that. Menace. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love Do doing they? it too. I think it's just oh. a type of person. Like oh. Menace likes no. it. It's, a, oh, yeah, it's, it's like fun. pickers it's is what female. they call it's it. It's female centric. Yeah. Like yeah. They're, my daughter is even into it. My wife oh. is into it. Most women that I know, oh. they, I can... they'll see it. Even on a person that's not part of her family, they'll go, oh. let me get it. Oh, yeah. and I go, but yet my wife is grossed out by Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh, I can't. Who is a woman? I can't. So I don't even know if it shows. Well, I do know now because Mario was in the room and I said, I can't look. And I put my hands in front of my face. Mm-hmm. He said, they don't show it actually happening. Exploding. But you assume it does happen. And right after it happens, does he go back to the bathroom and clean it up? No. And does she wash her hands? No. Aww. He just lies back. And lies into her arms, and they watch TV together. Oh. It's not me. It is mirroring pus yeah. everywhere. Effing yep. disgusting. So, okay, are you a I pimple person, it. Morgan? Uh, for my own, yes. Someone I know, but like, else, like if no. you're with a you know, yeah, boyfriend, or whatever, and you see he's no. got a nope, he's I got a white one, it. a white one brewing. I'm gonna Dude. ignore it, pretend it's not there. I'll see I've people in public. Guys. I'll see people in public, and I'm like, dude. You gotta, Can I take care of that for yeah, you? you Can I do it? Gross. I just don't uh, know how. But I'm looking up this commercial right now, and it's been around for nine months. Really? It only has 94,000 views on a few days ago. YouTube. 626 says, I saw that commercial last week, and I screamed. I'm with you, Greg. Yeah, it's disturbing. Now, have you ever had to do something for Mario? Like That was gross? Yeah, like because couples, especially after you've been together for a while, I mean, you experience gross stuff with each other. Right. Um, after he had back surgery, I had to help him to the toilet, but I didn't have to do anything after that. Oof. And that's not gross. And I would have done everything would if you he needed wiped? it. Yeah, of course. Because I'm sure he'll have to do that for me. Yeah. Aww, babe. In, I the, did have a, in the future. I did have a big old honker on the back, like on my hamstring, like on the back of my, uh, of my thigh. Like an ingrown hair or something? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, and I didn't even know it was there until I had like a, like a random itch. I went to itch and I'm like, wow, I can feel it. Like how big it was. I couldn't mm-hmm. see it, of course. A boil? And so I'm like, wow. So uh, <laughs> my wife's like, oh, let me see it. And Ooh. she goes, <gasps> ooh. And it was a zit on your thigh? Yeah. yeah I think it started, like you said, maybe it's like some kind yeah. of uh, ingrown hair or something. I don't know. But anyway, right. she's like, ooh, this one's a bleeder too. And she's like getting oh, it. Oh, like, oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it took care of it. Now it's gone. It feels hey, good. There was one time she had had this procedure done, you know, um, like an ablation where they have to go into the oh, ur- uterus. Oh, and I remember that. Do like a like a hot saline to burn the whole inside of the uh, uterus for you know whatever those right. things that grow. Right. Anyway, so uh, within a week, she goes, "What is going on?" She walks up. I'm, I'm like in bed. I just woken up or I was sleeping. She woke me up to like take a look at her vagina, and there was like something hanging from it. it looked like an extra lip. <laughs> I remember. This. Remember that? Yes. I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm trying to forget. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> what yeah. was it? It was details. something from yeah. the head, like, you know, whatever from the ablation or whatever had like fallen and like came through, but it looked like another, like mm. another labia mm. so or something. So did you pull it out or like what? No, I didn't want to touch. I, I was like, I kind of looked, know? I kind of looked like, what? I said, does it, does it hurt? She goes, no. Anyway, so she uh, made an emergency appointment with her doctor and doctor's like, oh, well, that's just, I was like, oh, blah, blah, okay. Blah. But anyway, yeah. you see stuff. I mean, I watched childbirth. So I mean, yeah. anything after that. 
seems yeah, it doesn't to be get pretty any more disgusting. Like I, I, than that. Yeah, I wouldn't be any. Uh, you could poop the door open. You can pop pimples. None of that stuff is gonna skeeve me out. Yeah, yeah, but, but like yeah. you do stuff like that, like or like uh, you know. Good morning. Or like, is this a hemorrhoid? <laughs> yeah, is this a hemorrhoid? Here, look. Yeah, is this a hemorrhoid? Check it out. <laughs> is this a butt zit? I would ask the. I would ask some of our. That's audience love. Matters. Yeah. I would ask our, our audience menace if it grossed them out, but they've tuned out, <laughs> <laughs> so they can't hear me. Oh, uh, dude, Pimple Popper is a huge show. I don't like you watch that. Yeah, that I get. Yeah, I see that that yeah. you get. No, we understand that. Yeah. <laughs> So the, that in, you get the in-depth uh, descriptions about other things. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's love, man. That sure. is love. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. You got see, Greg. Now I understand. See? Sorry, you guys isn't, don't love love. Isn't romance great? Uh, so we don't yeah. know what Madison. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what love is. Yeah, you no. don't. Sorry, man. You haven't gotten to that level yet. Someday, guys. <laughs> yeah, wait until you wipe <laughs> something. <laughs> this one says my wife it. shaved my bag for my vasectomy. <laughs> Nurse <laughs> said, hey, nice work, Chris. That is seriously unnecessary. Yeah. I know it is something you can do yourself. She just wanted to do it. Oh yeah, sunburn peels. That's another mm-hmm. thing chicks like. Yep. That's true. Zits. I don't think it's a girl yeah, thing. It's, it's just a person. It oh, it's a specific more, person. That's, that's more girls I don't guys. know because I don't like it. I've known plenty of guys who have. My high school boyfriend was like that. He used to always want to pop my zits. And Menace <laughs> likes it. Yeah. yeah. And more, so it's guys a woman. too. No, saying, but more women than guys. If Again, I believe if we did uh, oh, an unscientific that. poll. Bring the zits. Yes, I do want to do a poll because I don't think it's true that it's more girls. 877-44-WOODY. Text over to 2297. Ladies, let's do a, a little text poll. Ladies, are you, uh, are you a zit monster? Do you like uh, getting after them? Text over, yes or no, over to 2297. We'll see how that goes. 